Hey, yo, dog. this video is for all people over 13. If you're 13 and under, come back when you're over 13 or else I'm going to have to go jet out up on you. So this video is a 2019 Transformers rundown. So every year I did a top five, best five, worst five, top five most disappointing, top five most surprisingly good. But we scrapped it. This year, we're going to run down. This is a Transformers rundown. We're going to run down every toy I bought in 2019. And we're going to go from the worst to the best to transform my ball. And I want to do this just because I think that we're getting such good product nowadays is that you can see a lot of transformers are falling into the not great, but really good category. But before we get to the really goods, we got to start the really bad. And the worst transform I bought in 2019 is made to a solar flare. I have a problem with a toy that's crowdfunded that doesn't come through. It's one thing to sell me a toy that you put your money, you put your finances to, and it just isn't good. It's a whole other thing to get me to pay for a toy that isn't good and, and provide seed money for a toy that isn't good. Yes, I have. If you notice, this piece here is like crap. Make toys just... This mold isn't even two years old and it's falling apart at the seams. This is a really bad purchase in the... The ultimate slap in the face is this is a really bad purchase that was crowdfunded. I want to have a side conversation, and we'll get to it one day, about if Make Toys will exist. I know that they released their dirge, and I'm not sure they'll complete that set. I don't think Make Toys will be around that much. And I think that when you look back and say the pinpoint, the time when Make Toys lost the fans was right here. I think everybody wanted the crowdfund. The other one, the purple one, I forget his name, Uplink or whatever. But because this was so shitty and the inconvenience of how they customer service, how they handled it, I think people would just like forget make toys, forget this mold, and just forget the company. I think that that's the point where people said, hey, make toys, we don't want them doing any more figures anymore. So worst toy I bought in 2019 was a crowdfunded make toys solar flare, a toy that was bad. And crowdfunding was the, was the extra slap on the face. The only reason this toy isn't the worst toy I bought in 2019 is because Mate Toys Solar Flare was crowdfunded. This toy has a litany of issues. Now, let me get the positive out of the way. It works good in combined mode with Skylinks and with the Lynx part. So, when you make the combined Skylinks, it works really well. But outside of that, it doesn't work at all. Horrible paint to little paint. The bottom here is horribly engineered. It won't stand. I had to use a flight pole stand to keep it st still. No ratchets, so bad hardware choices, no paint, bad design choices. This is a very, very, very poorly done figure, and the only saving grace is that it's combined mode works well, but this is not a good figure. Actually, really bad. This is one of the worst figures I've bought in a long time. The good thing about collecting in 2019 is that you very rarely have duds. You very rarely have dud companies making dud figures. Even though this is a dud company made it, they made this dud figure. This is from Mechanic Studios Pipes, and I don't even know his name. He just isn't a really well-made toy. He doesn't scale well. I know he's supposed to be Legends Plus, but it doesn't scale well. It's not built well. It's just, it's just not a good toy. The difference between this and those other toys is that the other ones come from reputable companies who I expect more from. I didn't expect much from Max Mechanic Studios and I didn't get much. You're probably wondering why this is one of the worst figures I bought in 2019. I very rarely have a problem with what I paid for Transformers. As Bobby Skullface said it best. If I'm happy with the product, I'm happy with the price. And that's not just Transformers. That's with everything. This is the very, 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 very first time in my Transformers collecting career where I've bought something and felt like I got taken for a ride. Now, that's one thing to buy something where it's, you know, bad quality, missing pieces, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's a whole other thing to buy something that isn't worth what it was charged. Now, I can blame myself for that because, again, I shouldn't have bought it. The reason I had a box here is because Foxfire, the pet, is in, in is in the box. I don't even display him. I really bought this for nickel. This was one twenty five. This feels like an eighty dollar set at most. I don't even have any of the re more reformatted figures. I sold them off in twenty nineteen, and we'll have a discussion video about how reformatted is dated is a bad product in general. But 
this is the the precipice of that, excuse me, where this is an okay product, but it's being priced premium and it's not premium. So this is one of the worst toys I bought in 2019. I think it's around, I think we had number 41, 42, I forget. Anyway, Nickel and Foxfire. Don't get it wrong, Nickel's a decent figure, but this set is not a good set. It's not, it's very much overpriced. This is an $80 set that they're selling for $120. So MMC, do better. So I don't know what this next figure will rank on the list, but if I was doing things the old way, this would definitely be my most disappointing figure of 2019. It is Fans Toys Hootlum. Today is October the 11th, 2019. And the reason I'm shooting this video so early for this figure is because for the first time in my collecting career, I am selling a Fans Toys figure. I have not sold any Fans Toys figure. I just think that this is the worst figure Fans Toys has put out to date. It's dated, it's old to me, to Cara figure is much better. And the things that Fans Toys does well, are done well on this, the paint, like metallic paint down there, the, the paint on the chest, the fake chest, the materials, it feels like normal Fans Toys quality. It just isn't a good product. Like for me, what killed it was the collarbone, like not, like basically being two different parts and just the whole upper part of it. It just kills it for me. And this is, in my opinion, the worst fans toys figure of 20 um, that I've ever bought. And this will definitely be on the low end of the rankings for the toys I bought in 2019. And remember, this is October the 11th, 2019. So I don't exactly know where it's going to be ranked at, but it's going to be pretty low. The worst fans toys figure ever, the most disappointing figure I, um, I bought in 2019, fans toys who? This thing is so tiny, I had to move my phone and give it a little close-up. But I think this is number 4041. Anyway, it's one of the worst toys I bought this year. And it's not bad. It's as it's, it's, it's good as can be expected. It's 5 POA is wrong, a character that was needed. But I wish Hasbro would take more care with certain IDW characters. I think they should have did a full legend scale version of him. Because even though it's cool to have 5 POA and it's cheap, it was a $5 figure. A character as important as Ron needs a little more love and a little more care. I'm not mad at the five POA. I'm just mad that Hasbro didn't give him the attention he deserved. But this is as good as a five POA character can be in my collection. So in a way, Ron, this is who we're talking about. Do a better job, Hasbro.